Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff from Urban Condo Spaces. Hey, it's been a while. I realized that uh, I haven't been on here as much as I'd like to. This whole year has been kind of crazy. Uh, summer was very busy and I'm just kind of coming up for air right now. So uh, thanks for being patient with me. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm gonna try to get in front of you a little bit more often on a Friday, give you a bit of an update on what's going on in the market. Um, just kind of a way for us to connect, for you guys to kind of see what I'm seeing out there in the marketplace and uh, just try to share a little more detail, um, you know, throughout the year. But uh, yeah, it's been an unbelievable summer, unbelievable year. Many of you guys know that uh, I took on a uh, condo project called Wallingford 45. It's uh, just north of Seattle, just north of Lake Union. And um, it's a uh, 48 unit condo project of one bedroom units that I've been very busy actively selling uh, all year. Uh, we're up to 24 sales, so we, we, we're just about halfway there. And uh, so look forward to getting the second half of those units sold, uh, hopefully uh, before year end, and if not, just shortly thereafter. Um, other things that are going on this week that you guys might have noticed, uh, one, uh, the Colonial Grand Pacific, which is a condo project down on uh, First Half. Uh, that entire um, uh, commercial space sold this week. It uh, fetched $10 million. These guys that owned it, um, bought it for $3 million back in uh, 1997, I believe. So a pretty good return on their investment. Um, it uh, is home to some very kind of unique spaces. Colonial Grand Pacific is, is kind of an old uh, registered historic building. So uh, that was something to keep our eye on. The other thing that you guys are probably seeing and hearing in the news, uh, WeWork was going to go into Martin Selig's new building in the downtown core and they pulled the plug. This is kind of an interesting storyline and it started of course here a couple weeks ago when uh, they ousted their CEO just before an IPO um, based upon, you know, kind of a lack of performance and uh, we were just not really following um, uh, what Wall Street would have wanted uh, before they IPO'd. Just literally three or four weeks ago, this was a company that was valued as much as 47 billion and the takeout packages this week are showing a value of, of maybe just as little as eight or nine billion. So pretty amazing stuff. Uh, a few other things that, that uh, I haven't touched on just because I haven't been in front of the blog, I haven't been writing any posts here the last couple weeks. Um, if you guys haven't seen that insane loft that I put on the market in Pioneer Square, I'd really, really encourage you to check that out. It's beautiful, historic, uh, two levels plus. In, uh, an elevated loft space, its own private deck. Very, very cool. Right in the heart of Pioneer Square. If you guys are, are familiar with Carmine's, where Carmine's restaurant is, it's, it's literally above Carmine's. Really, really cool space. Um, and then finally, uh, one thing that I'm gonna touch on a lot more, you guys probably just think that I, I haven't covered it, is um, Seattle House. Seattle House is a uh, brand new condo project that was announced in the downtown core. It's literally right next to Insignia Towers. Those guys invited me up to Vancouver to do a little presentation for some of their investors up there. I'm going to share a little bit more detail about that with you guys as well. Much, much more of that um, in the coming weeks. But uh, two tower project, 900 units, a very, very robust uh, amenity level. Uh, or I should just say amenities in general, they're gonna have a game room, a gear room for bike junkies and, and, and other um, gearheads. Uh, they're gonna have, the, the gaming room is literally like what you guys see uh, now on ESPN and some other networks where it's the competition gaming. Um, they're doing that to attract, you know, kind of a varied crowd, but it's really, really impactful, I think. It's different, they're gonna have some shared workspace which is pretty exciting. Uh, if you're an Amazon employee and, and you, you live at Seattle House, you're building teleconference, uh, have your coworkers over um, for meetings and, and they're gonna have a lot of like kind of communal space, which um, Vancouver developers, Canadian developers are famous for doing. So uh, a lot of awesome stuff going on this week. Quite a few new listings and some cool things to stay updated. I'm gonna try to post a couple of those things for you guys in the link on the blog post. Hopefully everyone's having an amazing week. Uh, my University of Washington Huskies play the Oregon Ducks tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that football game. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Keep in touch. Uh, feel free to comment uh, below. 
if you have any questions or want any to add anything to uh, the update for the week. And uh, have a great weekend. Talk to you guys soon.